Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update over at the Bakhmut front. Uh, particularly, we are talking about the area west of Soleda. So this is Soleda. Uh, and uh, west of Soleda is this area here. And a uh, significant development. Uh, previously, we mentioned that uh, on the western part of Blahodatne, uh, this is Blahodatne, uh, it's not appearing on the map. Uh, the Russian forces have been pushing at this entrenchment here and they have succeeded and actually they have flanked, pushed out. Apparently, this is the final Ukrainian line uh, of defense that uh, is actually holding the entire front line in this region here. And the Russian forces, after breaking through this heavy fortification, have basically fan out in all directions. And uh, we have... Let me let me show you the icons first. We have Joe locations by Deep State UA, pro Ukrainian source, verifying and confirming that the Russian forces is now in this area. One, one, two, three, four, five, five different Joe locations, and the Russian forces have fanned out in multiple directions. Let me zoom in a bit more. Like this, they have flanked out in all directions into a major breakthrough north of Bakhmut. So this is Bakhmut. Uh, this is Bakhmut city. And uh, in the north of Bakhmut city, this is a massive, massive breakthrough. And this this is actually tacitly uh, acknowledged by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry on their yesterday's uh, report, in yesterday's morning report, as they mentioned that there is fighting reported near Orikhovo Vasilivka. Orikhovo Vasilivka is actually here. And they say then they report that there is fighting near this location. And there's another town that is also dropped by uh, in the name the name dropped uh, by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry was Dubrovo Vasilivka, which is actually here. This is this town here. And uh so the the fact that uh, these two location areas within these two locations was mentioned fighting actually corroborates this information coming from Deep State UA. And very curiously, the pro-Russian sources did not mention this. Perhaps they are trying to protect operational uh, operational secrecy, uh, but it's actually all revealed by the Ukrainian side. And uh, given the fact that uh, one of the Joe location is actually in this in this position, which means that the and this entire road uh, coming from the north uh so this is this is babmut right and uh, there's this road going all the way going all the way uh up to slovians is actually now entirely broken with the russian forces now actually in this area now so this road is gone it cannot be used anymore previously we have seen a uh, joe location uh, and video footage of Ukrainian forces walking on this road, moving away from the Bakhmut region, the Bakhmut front and the Parosko VFK region, which means now this is gone. And with the fighting appearing here, and the front line is actually currently at Krasnohora. Uh, in the north north of Parosko VFK, Krasnohora, in the, which is actually uh, getting pincered on three sides and are fighting at the southern part of Paraskov Vievka with Rus uh, Russian forces actually penetrating into North Bakhmut and fighting uh, is in, in most of this northern Bakhmut uh, region which means that the Ukrainian forces that is currently uh, holding up at Krasnohora uh, and Paraskov Vievka is now in danger of getting uh, encircled as you can see, you know, if you look at this, you know, this salient here, this bulge here is now a death trap because the Russian forces can now actually go from the rear and actually take out Paraskov Yevka from behind. And uh, this entire forces here uh, might get entirely wiped out or uh, go into an encirclement. I uh, believe that this will actually force a Ukrainian withdrawal from this region entirely and they will give up Paraskov VFK and Krasnohora entirely and uh, try to build a defense uh, uh, maybe not even defense because this entire area doesn't look very defendable and they might actually force a major redrawal away uh, to somewhere safer perhaps you know to Dubrova, Vasilivka 
uh, because there's a settlement here or they actually you know go cross country cross the farmland all the way to Bonanifka uh, towards Chastifia which is actually the next line of heavy defending uh, in this area here and uh, this is entirely uh, horrible uh, for the Ukrainian uh, forces because this is very bad and uh, we do know that uh, fighting was previously reported near Z Zelensky and which means that the Russian forces might actually also continue um, to actually capture this town and actually you know break break away and even you no know, continue their foot their push and uh, do not allow Ukrainian forces to entrench at all the, because the biggest problem with the Russian forces previously uh, was that they they, they, they move so slowly they allow the ukrainian forces to entrench themselves i'm not sure if the the wagner group will actually operate in this way uh, the wagner group has has been always been more aggressive than the russian forces and uh, which means that the wagner private military contractors is not going to let the ukrainians rest and they're going to chase them all the way and i believe this is likely to be the case and this will actually create massive salience and massive encirclements of ukrainian forces should the ukrainian forces uh do not move fast enough or do, or they may not have enough motorized vehicles like trucks and uh, cars and vans and uh, M and apcs to actually help to uh with this redrawal and uh this this is all looking extremely bad because the russian forces you can see this red icon here have already move to the west of Ivaniske and it seems like they have fire control if not they have actual physical control over the roads here just south of Chastifia. The Ukrainian uh, defense ministry reported fighting near the area of Chastifia which means that the U Russian forces might actually be very close to Chastifia already with the Russian forces actually pushing. In my another analysis that I have mentioned the fact that the Russian forces actually took this region here uh, might suggest that they may actually go through the forest here and go oops and go all the way up and break the road here the entire the another uh, ukrainian uh, reinforcement the only one left uh, that is actually safe for the ukrainians to withdraw from the city of bakhmut uh, that is currently seeing a uh, major fighting um so this which means that the ukrainian forces cannot even withdraw into bakhmut uh from the western western outskirt because if they draw into here then they're going to get encircled again and then they will need to redraw again so uh, the forces that is an, all the way in the northern part of Bakhmut uh, might actually have to go away from Bakhmut and which means that there is even lesser troops at Bakhmut to try to hold the lines here and uh, there is ru also rumors saying that uh, Zulishni um, the commander in chief of the ukrainian forces have rejected uh, zelensky's demands and orders to send even more reinforcement from zaporizhia region into bakhmut to hold bakhmut city uh, i think uh but this of course just rumors uh we do not know if they really have such a difference in opinion uh, but that is further rumors to suggest that the situation at bakhmut city is actually extremely bad uh with the russian forces actually pushing in the west in the north north uh, from the east and from the northeast and there's fighting you know all across this entire line and uh, this breakthrough will just further demoralize the ukrainian troops that is at bakhmut uh if they can read the map and they can see that our situation is actually horrible and we might actually see a major withdrawal uh for us very soon from bakhmut city because this development here is terrible and uh, this development here is just even worse so um things are not looking good anyway this is just a quick update over at the situation here at the bakhmut front and particularly in the north of bakhmut in the parasko vfk uh actually rather you know the west of soleda region so anyway thank you for watching uh, do subscribe if you have not subscribed and i'll see you in the next update